Welcome back to Hannity. American film director Spike Lee delivered a profanity lace rant against the gentrification of New York City neighborhoods at the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn last week. Listen to this. Why does it take the influx of white New Yorkers in the South Bronx, in Harlem, in Bed Stuy, in Crown Heights for the facility to get better? When you see white mothers push their babies in strollers 3 o'clock in the morning to 125th Street, that must tell you something. And then comes the Christopher Columbus syndrome. You can't discover this. We've been here. You just can't come and book by. I'm for democracy and let everybody live, but you gotta have some respect. You just can't come in where people have a culture that's been laid down for uh, generations, and you come in now gotta change because you're here? Get the out of here. You can't do that. Now, days after those comments were made, graffiti vandals targeted the home owned by Lee's father in Brooklyn. They wrote, do the right thing, as well as the home next door. Here to debate the remarks from the New York Civil Rights Coalition. He's back. He's been in hiding someplace in some ship in the Caribbean somewhere. <laughs> Michael Myers from the Wall Street Journal. Jason Riley, guys, good to see you. Yeah. All right, so he's complaining about, quote, gentrification. Yeah. All right, so you have some neighborhoods that have been let go. Now, for years, haven't we had complaints uh, that... White big flight. No, well, th that, but also that big companies, drugstores, supermarkets won't right. move into, quote, certain neighborhoods. Right. High crime areas. Right. So people invest money in these neighborhoods, put it at risk. They build the neighborhood back up. S business comes in. S jobs are created. Home values increase. Why is he complaining? Well, I, think, I think he's complaining because he misses the, the ghetto. He misses the slums. Nobody forced him out of Brooklyn. He, he decided to sell, he, and guess what? He made a lot of money in selling and getting out of that neighborhood. He, I thought he used to have street smarts, Spike Lee, but you don't have street smarts because if you had street smarts, you would know a lot of neighborhoods are changing culturally, economically, socially, demographically. What is the complaint? I think the complaint goes back to the 1995 rant about white interloper. And yeah. that's when, remember in, in fa Freddie's Fashion Mart, when the rent went up, and Freddie's, the owner of Freddie's Fashion Mart on 125th Street, was increased killed. the rent of his subtenant. And then they had that nut, that black nut who ran to the store and lit the place up and killed seven innocent people plus himself. This is the point, the racial poison that Spike Lee is, well, is what, trading in. What does in. this mean when you see white mothers pushing their babies in strollers at 3 o'clock in the morning on 125th Street? Yeah. Um, yeah. Is he saying 125th Street is A, safer than it used to be? Yeah. Or is he complaining that there are white mothers pushing I, their I, kids? I think it's the latter. I think Michael's got a point there. There's a racial angle here. He's not complaining that wealthier people are moving in to white his old neighborhood. People. He's complaining that white people are. But it's hard to identify a victim here, other than Spike Lee and his nostalgia for the old days in the ghetto. It's hard to identify a victim. This isn't the government exercising eminent domain to displace people and build highways or, or strip malls. These are private people engaging in private interactions. If the homeowners don't want to sell, no one is forcing them to do so. And frankly, I think there are probably a lot of black people, homeowners in this neighborhood saying, you know, shut up, Spike Lee, I want to get paid. Well, the thing, but the thing is, so you, so you have predominantly black neighborhoods, minority neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and you have people with money willing to invest in, in the neighborhoods, raising home values in most cases, right? When of gentrification course. is not done. Not only raising home values, but increasing the, the, the quality of life in these neighborhoods. Less and job crime, opportunities. Job opportunities. And the other thing here, Sean, is on, on even if you think this is a problem, and I don't, but even if you do, where does this rank on the list of problems facing black people in New you, York? We have I'm, a mayor who is shutting down, declared a war schools. on charter schools, which disproportionately help blacks. Why doesn't Spike, Spike Lee spend his time talking about that? That would be the number one complaint. He wants to talk about, he wants to complain about white people wanting to All pay right. blacks millions of dollars for their homes. Let me ask you a tough question. Homes. Is he racist? Is this a raci racist comment, racial comment? How would you characterize this it? This is a racialist comment. It's a, it's racialist a, or racist? Racialist, what's the, what's the difference? It's the same difference. Racist, racialist. It's the same difference. It's okay. skin color deification, okay? This guy worships and laments the time when the neighborhoods were black. Well, I don't. He grew up in Brooklyn, Fort Greene, whatever he grew so up in. My father. I grew up in Harlem, Central Harlem. And I don't lament those days. I got the heck out. Now, and, and back then, we, used to, we blacks used to complain about white flight. 
Whites are coming back to the cities. They want diversity. I thought diversity was well, good. That's the thing. If, they move, if white people are moving into... They can't win, can they? Pri pri <laughs> primarily <laughs> minority yeah. areas. Absolutely. Does that say... Improve, is, even Bill Clinton, that put, his in, I thought even Bill Clinton was, put his offices in Harlem. Yeah. That's when the rent started going up, by the way. Yeah. But they love Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand the little mess. Is it he, racist? What do you think? Uh, I think the way to answer that question is if a white person was making the same complaint, what would he be called? <laughs> good. All right, checkmate. Very good. I can't checkmate. argue with that. All right, guys, I love good that. to see you. Thank you good both. Seeing Appreciate you. it. Coming up next tonight, Deirdre Imus is back in the house. Jedediah Bila and Gavin McGinnis are here for tonight's Great Great American panel. Then the one and only Larry the Cable Guy with his special take on the Oscars. We have an Oscars recap, and there's no telling what he's going to say. And first, by the way, before you do anything, time to stop what you're doing. Stop. Set your DVR, record Hannah to this series. You never want to miss a show. Do it right now so you don't forget. Take a quick break. We'll come back. Our great American.